Good morning everybody, welcome to the workroom and I hope you can hear us today because I'm not wearing the microphone, it's over there so let us know if you can hear us okay. Um, but you can see there's myself and Adrienne, my daughter, and Abigail. <laughs> Abigail, who says she's not dressed for the part, but I'm sure we'd like to see more. My face of her. isn't dressed for the part. Look at me. I'm not feeling too well today. Look. Uh, uh, yeah, quite right. Gross. Ooh. Get off, get off. <laughs> um, Abigail's going to be my technical guru. Uh, sound is great. Oh, that's good then, and I won't need to worry good, anymore. Good. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to pass my technical devices over to Ad Abigail. Oh, great. So Abigail, I'm prepared for overhead shot, but you have to transition it, but not yet. Don't be surprised if a random link comes up and gets home with Abigail <laughs> scrolling across <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> just say hello to everybody. Just, hello. just say it, do it again. We'll all get in, look. Group hug. No, come in a bit more. I don't want to hug you. I've no, I don't, I don't mean screen. a physical hug. I mean like a head hug, like that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'll just remain in centre. Yeah. Hello, hello, it's me, Abigail. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So this is um, good morning. So we've got so we've got eighty five viewers already. That's great, and that is with Facebook and YouTube. I'm not expecting everybody to 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 be here because obviously it's a Thursday morning, and normally we're on a Monday night at seven. So I don't expect great things, but you can always watch it afterwards, of course. Um, so um, welcome and thank you, Adrian welcome for doing our lovely christmas pudding design which is yeah. what we're going to make today can we just say hello to carol hello carol oh hi carol. Carol. carol hope it's all going well for you thank you uh, not you carol i was saying thank you for letting me say hello oh <laughs> <laughs> this is smaller than i imagined you know it I mean? is smaller because i made two versions i made oh. a small version and a big version oh, okay well when i say a big version you did the big version and i just reduced it oh, in size yes, but like when you see things online you think <laughs> you know it's like this big yes and then amazon comes and it's this big <laughs> do you, did i tell you about the hot water bottle i ordered no. No. <laughs> oh, yes Abigail i do knows. remember that I, I, is that I, in here no because i changed the order quickly oh, did you? Oh, okay. I, I was going to do a pattern for a, a hot water bottle cover so I obviously i obviously mr amazon is the place to go and so I placed my order and it was only a few seconds later I thought, I didn't check the size. <laughs> anyway, it would have been smaller than that mat. <laughs> it would have been about like that. Doll this, size. A miniature hot water bottle. So I quickly changed it to one of a decent size. Because <laughs> I think Abigail, we did a Facebook Live together, didn't we? Yes, or we YouTube did. or yes, something. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, are yeah. these supposed to have fabric on? Yeah, they are. There, they come off. Oh, I see. They Sorry. came off because oh. of the... Um, yeah, so we'll talk about in. it as we go along. Okay. <laughs> anyway, in the pattern, and you'll remember the pattern from almost a couple of weeks ago, and in the back are all your pattern pieces. So that's the small version, okay, which is the mat, which is that, and that's what the pattern is all about. Um, but you've also got the large version, which I'll Hold show on, I'll you. I'll do it on overhead camera. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Press that one. No, you press transition, Abigail, um, up the top. Uh, <laughs> and clever and then we've still got the fully frontal at the front so you know yeah i forgot that last time and i was just like you know yeah, cash hanging out so sorry question while we're alive and i'm having a technical lesson <laughs> if i want to load up the next thing as just you both yes i would press that no uh, whoops you press front camera only oh. there that's it oh and so this is the one everyone's seeing. Yep, that's yeah, that's the preview. So if I press that, it would just be you. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, technical lesson there. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is the true to size. So this is the original version from you, Adrian. Yep. So you can see that's that's quite a bit bigger. And what I've suggested in the pattern is that they, if they want to make a table mat, a, you know, a big table mat, yeah. to use the bigger version yeah. right in the centre. Yeah. But the pattern is all about... The little mat. Yeah, it's not about. Okay, well, I couldn't do two. I couldn't do two because it is only a making it Monday. I've got Millie right under my feet. Mm. Hang on. Um, oh, okay. okay. We're yeah, all right. you're all right now. Yeah, yeah. She will just sit there. This is Millie the dog is sitting underneath the, the bench that we're sitting on. <laughs> Right, come on, let's crack on. Right, so um, in fact, stay on the overhead, Abigail, because we can sort of take it from there. All right. Um, 
<laughs> so in the pattern, let's just get it so we can, we've got a visual. Um, you're going to print, either print, now listen, I just need to give a quick lesson here. You can print directly onto Bonder Web Heat and Bond. Yeah. Okay. Um, sometimes there's a little bit of a trick to it, but all I'm going to say at this point is that you can print direct. So if you think my lines and my numbers are perfect, that's because they are. They're yeah, yours. they're printed. But you can, of course, use a light box or just trace the design straight onto your Heat and Bond, Bonder Web, whatever yeah. you're going to use. I, I generally, when I'm, because I'm only a learner... I just trace mine. Yeah, and which is fine, which is fine. And and Bonderweb is better for tracing because it's not so lumpy bumpy. Yes, well, I was watching you do it the other day, and actually, if you turn it over and do it on the smooth side, it works just as well. <gasps> you see? You make your life harder for yourself. Mm. Abigail, Abigail, get rid of her. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Get rid of her. You trace on the smooth side of the heat and bond not, yeah not the wobbly side like mum was doing the other night no because that's the glue side you yeah. draw on the paper side exactly yeah well i was obviously doing it wrong doesn't matter move doesn't on doesn't matter as long as it's the same <laughs> either way yes. doesn't matter does it yes no. no no i mean you shouldn't but don't don't worry about it okay so um so you're going to either print or trace your pattern pieces out now my only thoughts with the smaller pattern which is what we're going to use is that the berries are far too small yeah there is little point you can do french knots for them you can do machine embroidery for the berries but pom -pom. Pardon? Pom -pom. they're too small they're you tiny you can get little tiny pom-poms like that well, yeah. yeah stick them on okay cool little tiny pom-pom so pom-poms are good <laughs> artistic license <laughs> but i'm thinking you put an addition on that so maybe oh, anyway oh, whatever yeah. Don't whatever, do whatever. never mind move on um so um now, you can either leave your piece of fabric that you've got for your base as a square, or you can use your pattern piece, which is here. Sorry, I've drawn all over mine, um, to um, and, and cut it out. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I've got mine still as a square. Okay. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to adhere your wadding onto the back. I don't think that's adhered. Would you like to do that, Adrienne? Yeah. Abigail, can you pass... Um, Adrian, a stick and stay spray, stay and spray, spray stick. And... Yeah. There. Other brands are available, like June Taylor. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to pass this to my assistant. Oh, oh okay. So, <laughs> so the first thing you need to do is to get the the first piece. Now then, on your video this morning, Adrian. Yeah. You built yours up on the um, applique mat. Okay. Now look. Let us just bring this in. It's super useful. Um, th this this is a really, 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 really good applique mat. Um, they are quite an expensive thing, so I would say before you purchase one... Wait till the new year. Yes. Wait till the new year. <laughs> if you're an Abigail follower, wait till the new year. But also, um, there are very, very much cheaper alternatives, but not as good as this, okay? And what you can do is, if you want to, is to build up your design on here, as you did in your video this morning, Adrian. Yeah. Uh, and, we, and Abigail can put the link of that into the Facebook and the YouTube, actually, because it's really good. Yeah. And you can build up the design, and you can actually glue the whole thing down as one piece. Yeah. And then applique, which is what you did with the angel. Yes. But on my previous demo, I didn't use the mat at all because I forgot. So, but the choice, that's yeah, the choice. you don't have to no. have a mat. No, no, no. So, um, so you, like, that's why I bought the applique mat in, um, because, <laughs> is that you, Abby? What's that? Being me. <laughs> it might be. I don't start, don't start. Oh, I get double comments on my. Oh, yes, oh. you do. Okay. So what we need to do is we've got we've got a couple of pieces that need cutting out. So uh, Adrian, do you want to cut those pieces out for yep. me? And then we'll start building up our piece. Now I'm going to do our, my pieces um, one at a time. Thank you, Abigail. I'm going to do. Let, can we go back to the front shot just for a minute? Because it's a bit boring otherwise. We can. <laughs> um, I'm going to build my Christmas pudding up one piece at a time. But what you could do is do what I said, uh, what Adrienne did this morning on her YouTube video, which Abigail will put the link on here very soon when she's finished cutting out. Um, 
and you could glue the whole thing together and then just stitch the whole thing on. It's a bit like a, sewing a badge onto a uniform. Um, it's actually a lot easier, but because um, I want to show you the way that's in the pattern, I'll do it this way by building up um, step by step. Um, is there a demo of Adrienne's gnome? I d did you do? Is that the Santa gnome? No, but I, I'm, <laughs> I haven't got any heat and bond. So on my uh, departure from Mother's today, I shall steal some heat and bond and then I'll do, um, I might do a live on Monday with it. Oh, Abigail's put her hand up. However, I did a demo of the gnome that's not the Santa version oh, on the shop my page. The isolation the shop. Yes. Come yes. to the shot a bit. I, I, I don't, don't really want to. Oh, please, because everybody's wanting to see Can you. Have you look got a link to the well. video? Anyway. What video? Abigail, video. Adrienne's video of the angel. Oh, yes. Because well, that's, that's really, fabulous. really fabulous, isn't I'll it? I'll do it. Uh, yeah, Monday, I'm going to do a live demo of the Christmas Santa. I didn't do it this week because <coughs> I didn't have any heat and bond, but I will have some well done. by the end of the um, <laughs> okay. I copied from my phone and tried to share on your phone. Oh dear. Right, so let's let's move on. So can we have an overhead shot, please, Abigail? <laughs> I'm trying to share the link. I can't do everything. Yes, you can. Uh, right, what <laughs> do we need? So we're not using this. No, um, we'll keep it as a square right, for the moment. Okay. Okay, this is that's lovely. now. Yeah, so that's smashing. So our wadding is on the back. Yeah. Great. Now, um, obviously, you've got to think about the fact that if you cut this out, you would know exactly where to place your pieces. Yeah. But we're, we're not going to. We're just going to be, be a bit rogue. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So the first piece we need to put onto our fabric is this piece. Yeah. So I think take the paper off. That might help. Yeah. And then pop it down. And then what I would do is I would just do a little visual of whether you think that's going to be. I mean, to be honest, do you know what I mean? We can, we can shift this circle around to fit yeah. as long well, as you can. Um, you know, you know, have a, have good a little play, play about, can't you? Yeah, I mean What's that should. Number two. Oh yeah. That's the bottom part. <laughs> I of designed the dish. it. And I've no idea. It's it's always the way. So yeah, you can instantly see you need to move it up. Yeah, just a smidge. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Don't forget we've got Holly. So oh, perhaps yeah. bring it down a bit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Excellent. Right. So the first thing you need to do is to iron this piece on. Could you not build it up on here, though? Yes. Yes. Uh, um, before ironing? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can, but, but I prefer to do it on here. Yeah. Before I commit myself to my fabric. Right. Okay. This could be my last piece of beautiful gold yes. fabric. Okay. Yeah. We just need that one piece. And so I, I would I always would build it up on the yeah. on the applique mat. But you could you know, like we were saying, if if you yeah. don't know if it's centralised or not, you could just build it all up and Yeah, and fuse the whole thing down. Yeah. If it, it's whatever it's whatever way you like to do, because everybody's different. So no I'm gonna stitch that first. Oh sorry. Because I'm doing this one at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see, that's interesting because when I does, when I do the digital versions of these for the website, mm -hmm. I'll I'll do the stitching right up to the edge. Yeah, you can do. But um, but um, I was thinking, would you sew each piece individually? Yeah, yeah. I would. Mm, interesting. Okay. It's just building up the layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I need to do some free motion work. So um, Abigail, can you put this on the side camera, please, my dear? I'll just make sure I'm on all lined up. On the side camera. Yeah. Well, side, side and front. Got it. Look I'll wait that. for you to line yourself up yep, first. Yeah, I'm fine. Ready? Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure they say that on uh, well, Good go. Morning Britain right. when they say, just wait for me to line this up. Yep, yeah, ready? Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might have a director that says, don't move it yet. <laughs> I've got red on now. Look, we are basically oh. a sandwich. Group oh, hug. gosh, it's very Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah, oh, look, my head's in the way. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's just wait for You've that You've got a nice to, hair. Let's just wait for that to focus. There we go. So there's my piece, and I've got my um, embroidery foot on, so it's all, uh, always known as an embroidery or darning foot. It's an open toe, but you can use a closed toe as well. I've got my feed dogs down. If you can't drop your feed dogs, then just put your stitch length on zero. 
and um, I'm just going to shimmy along my seat a little bit. There we go. Uh, now I tend to put my needle down first. I'm starting right in the centre of my dish. Not ideal. We're going to cover this bit here. So actually we could, it's better to start perhaps where you're going to cover up because okay. then your your threads, lo any loose threads won't be shown. Yeah, yeah. So I can, I'll move it over just, um, just because I should. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do, we're only going to do two rows of free motion, otherwise we'll be here all day. And just try and get your speed up. I mean, this is going to be hard for me because I'm at a little bit of an angle. I've got a gorgeous oh yeah, crikey, let's let's not let's not look at that bit. I've got a gorgeous <laughs> embroidery thread in my machine, a nice sort of um, sort of satin. Um, can I have my little scissors, please? Little Santa's helpers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my new K Buckley, Karen K Buckley scissors. Very, very ah. nice. They're serrated edges, so they're not going to dull. So are we all okay with views? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to show the other colours. It just gets far too technical. Me and Abigail just use our phones and just <laughs> yank people down into position. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm only going to do two rows. Like I said, I'm going to be here all day otherwise. And my, my stitching is not as good as Adrian's was this morning. That was absolutely oh, brilliant. Well, no, it wasn't. But that was my first ever time doing it, would you believe? Well, it's absolutely brilliant. So there's my first piece down. So um, can we iron the second piece? Overhead shot, please, Mr. Technician. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, I'm not ready. You should have been ready, you should have been on it. Like a director would be. Deduct her pay. <laughs> Is she getting paid? Well, no. I better be. Crikey. Right, leave me to it now. I'll, I'll sort it out, don't panic. Right, go on then, <laughs> iron, please. Hmm. Now, Mum's not ready. I was just taking a slurp of my coffee. Thank you. So you can see we're just slowly building up the design. There's nothing complicated about this. Absolutely nothing. And of course, if you want to, you can use your, um, you can just leave it as it is, unless you think you're going to really wash these um, mat, little mats. I'm just going to get Well, you might thread. if you have a spillage. Yeah. But you could just leave these as they are. Um, and you can see the tones of mine are not very different. Um, and because this is like the, what would you call it, the dip into the saucer or the... Well, I kind of made it the shadow. The shadow. Yeah, so this could be grey, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So again, we're just going to pop our needle in, hold on to my thread, and then you've got the side camera. Oh, Abigail's on the ball now. Um, and we're just going to track this around. And like I said, you don't have to use free motion. You can use your regular foot and just stitch and you just need to pivot your needle and and move it around uh, as best you can there's no um there's no nobody's going to tell you what basically well apart from when at, you facetime abigail when you're trying to free motion and she says slow down slow down you don't have to do it that fast because what i didn't realize was that the size of your free motion stitch depends on how much you move your fabric. Yes, because mine's quite small because yes. I'm not moving it very quickly. Whereas I was whizzing it through thinking it was like a zigzag. You, she wouldn't be told though. She's going, no, but I've got my stitch length set to this. I go, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's irrelevant. <laughs> right, so if we can go to the... Don't, no, I'm... Oh, sorry. Let's camera. just move over to... Oh, she's getting good now. Um, right, the, the, the embroidery thread is from a company called Somac, S-O-M-A-C. It's not the cheapest of threads. Um, it's um, absolutely gorgeous. It's the, it's the only thread that I've got that will, sorry, I'm, that will um, go through all of my machines. So my Benina, my, my um, Juki, um, my Singer, any of those machines that I've got. It loves the Somac thread and it's it's ki is it King Star thread. It's the only ones they do, so I shouldn't worry too much about it. Okay. So now we've we've got the pudding done, we can free motion that, and I'm just changing my thread to a sort of a, a brassy colour. So you you might want to 
um, change your threads. Do you want to go to the front while I'm doing this? Because that's boring. Can I can I try? Or is it yeah. too much of a hassle? No, I would be thrilled. If I just thread it up for you. So I couldn't get my free motion foot to work last time. No. It works now, but it makes a heck of a noise. Does it? It shouldn't do. The arm's big screen. Look. <laughs> Sit still. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to have a big piece of cake then, but I want to refrain. <laughs> Abigail bought us all a lovely big, enormous chocolate sponge, which is just here, look. Hidden from view, <laughs> half eaten. <laughs> Ah. Oh, do you want me to no, no. <laughs> um, it's driving Millie crazy because she can smell it. Um, right, so you're all set to go. Do you want to, shall we swap over? No, just move your machine. Oh, okay. Does that work? Well, it's the, oh, camera. Right. the camera won't be on it. Okay, I'll get up. Oh, I'll just shimmy. Mind the camera. Mind yeah. the camera. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, Mind sorry. the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Millie? Oh, um, you can be in charge now. Oh, all right. Um, oh, I like this idea. I'll just let you know I've got a delivery coming at one. So if we can get done before then. Yeah, it should only be. <laughs> right, I'm going to start where the uh, the custard won't be. There we are. Nice shoulder edge. Now you've got the oh, idea. Sorry. Oh, I can move the machine. Look, we can all, we can right. make it so it fits you. Right. You don't put your foot down. Yes, I do. Where is it then? Normal place. Oh. <laughs> Don't clunk it. Mrs. Winter Mrs. Winterton would have had your Ooh. head for that. What clunking your foot? Yes. Down. Don't be so careless. You yes. Say. Is that what Just because say? you think you know better, Abigail, doesn't mean that you do know better. Oh. I do and know also, better. And also, stitch the way you want to stitch. So I, I'll because my toe is closed, so I can right. very rarely see where I'm stitching. So I go backwards. Whichever is comfortable. You should, with free motion, be able to go north, south, east, west with with the fabric staying exactly like that. Yeah. But you, you, I, I'm. Oh, oh, see, you've just cut your thread because my foot control, the bottom bit cuts the thread. Oh, that is clever. I've got my so, flip flops on. That's no good. Put your foot further up the foot pedal. Right. <laughs> oh, this is quite <laughs> scary. You're all right. Go. Well, I'm trying. You have to put your foot on the foot oh, pedal. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is horrendous. <laughs> go edge, go edge, go edge. Oh, no. Oh, where'd you go there? <laughs> well, I... Oh, my... Well, why are you finding that difficult? Well, because I said I always go backwards and then I went forwards. So why did you go forward? Pressure. It's the pressure. It's wait, the wait, pressure. wait. Stop where you are, then. Oh no, that was still backwards. Well, I can see now, was. can't I? Okay. You could, you might find it better to hold your fabric like this. And also, you see, you could put this in a hoop. If you put it in a hoop, you might find it easier because yeah. you've got the hoop to hold on to. Yeah. <gasps> I, I stop, that, I, stop, and then just regroup. I think having a hoop isn't. Excellent idea for mm. starting. Pass me those little purple <laughs> things behind you, Abigail. <laughs> Did your mouth going to be covered? Well, actually, it's not going to be covered. Oh, by the custard? No, oh, right. A little bit. <laughs> so the, these are really good. Obviously, this piece is quite small and you would need my big, big table. But th these are quite good because they've got silicon grips here and you can... It, it grips the fabric. Oh, okay. You'd need my big table on Yes. It, but that's something to actually get hold of, so yep. you've got something tangible. Um, maybe having it loose like that is not for you. Thank you, Abigail. You're welcome. I'll add that to my bill. I think it depends on how big your piece is. Yeah, it? yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I think you're doing brilliantly. Listen, you've, how many times have you done free motion? This is my me. second time. Well, exactly. My goodness me, we've still got ladies who, um, just trying to get your hand out of the way. Though. Sorry. <laughs> Can I tell you a funny story? Go on then. Um, when, um, I'll just move in. Yeah, minute. come in. When I did, oh, it was my second, no thread. I'm telling the story, shush. Oh, right, I'm just It was my read second read. show on Hachanda, and there was a director there that was very long in the tooth. Oh, yeah. And uh, obviously it was only my second show, I didn't know where to put things. It's just go to the front view for a minute so there's no pressure on Adrian. Um, and there we go. 
and um, he came over to me at the end of the show. So you're me, I'm him. Put your hands on the counter. And he went, yes, that was okay. We're still getting a lot of this. <laughs> I bet I know who it was. I was it an older guy? Yes, it was. I'm desperate. His name began with a H. I, shall I tell you a little story about him? Yeah. Because he invented the envelope maker. Do you remember on when I did Tattered Lace? Oh, I re actually, yes, I do know this. He invented the envelope maker. So um, every time I did a show, I'd have to go through him because it was his product. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name, yes, but it, 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 it would have it would have been absolutely him that did, would have done that. He's lovely. You're writing it down. <clears throat> it's a heat erasable pen. I, oh, I, is it? I forget yeah. that you can stop. Yeah, I think you're right. And start I am right. Again. <laughs> Yeah, so you can, you can stop and start as many times as you like so you're comfortable. Regroup. Don't let the machine dictate to you. You just stop, regroup, move the fabric if you need to, shift your body position. I mean, you're not sitting in the best place um, because we're, we're doing this um, for everybody. Was there any comments, Abigail? Yes, Emma says... Um no, Marion says, I've never dared try free motion, so I think you're doing great. Yeah. And Cheryl says, lovely watching Adrienne. I've never done free motion. Emma says, the concentration. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yeah. most stressful thing I've ever had to do. Get your hand out of the way if you can. Kath says, you're doing fine, Adrienne. Forget we're here and just enjoy. Kiss, yeah. kiss, kiss. Aww. There we go. <laughs> Catherine's lovely. We're having dinner with Catherine on Friday, aren't we? Yep. I thought that was Does she know I'm bringing no, that's all my not children? Secret. Other things are secret, <laughs> but not that. Does, does Kath know I'm bringing my whole tribe with yes, me? Yes, she does know. So look yeah. at that. That's absolutely brilliant, Adrian. <laughs> you should be really proud. Do you want to swap seats? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's go to the front just for a second while we swap seats. A, a trick is with free motion, if you're a bit worried about it, front. choose thread that's the exact same colour as your fabric. Front. No, front. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, okay. And then you don't see it. Well, yes, it, indeed. I'm all flushed. <laughs> right, um, so we need to go to the overhead again. My mother, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's cover up this horrendous stitching. Right, have you you've taken the paper off? Yeah. Great. So now we're putting the custard on. So don't forget, guys, you can make this up on this uh, plique mat or something similar and then just put it on as one whole piece and then just do whatever stitching you're comfortable with. Um, you must never think that this is the only way because it's never the only way. So we need some custard flavoured thread. So I'm using that colour, which is a little bit goldy, a little bit yellow, but I like the yellow. I think it works well as custard. I was looking for custard sort of uh, material. <laughs> I mean, what does custard material look like? I love custard. So do you um, intentionally make two tracks? Normally I do three. Oh, okay. Normally I do three, but um, it, a lot of this is down to how much time have you got yeah and is it really necessary um it depends what it's going to be for and who it's going to be for as to how much effort you're going to put into it and whatever you fancy doing yeah right? if you think to yourself you're going to make six of these for the dining room table for christmas maybe you perhaps cut down to one row of stitching yeah. just because of the time thing so the next thing is i'm going to stitch this bit of custard okay um, it's pretty pretty sort of simple stitching. We're just going around the edge. I did think about doing extra bits like you would with a leaf, but I thought, no, we'll just keep it nice and clean. Okay? So, under the machine again, and again, start where you, you perhaps you're going to cover up with a leaf or a holly berry or something like that. And we're just going to do some free motion again. So, hopefully, I can... Let's just bring this over a little bit. Hopefully I can do this fairly neatly. Um, don't um, worry too much about following the shape. Just try and get the curves in. The only reason I say that is if you are going to pop this into the machine to wash, 
if some of these curves, these little bit pudding bits here that we're doing now, if that they're not glued down properly or they're not stitched down properly, they could easily lift off in the wash and they might fray and they might you might lose them completely. Again, you can regroup. Don't think everything has to stay. If you were listening to somebody who was teaching you free motion embroidery, oops, she would tell you that your fabric should stay like this the whole time. Um, again, putting it into an embroidery hoop. Scissors, please. Like forceps, please. I don't know where they went. Oh, here they are. But it's like writing, isn't it? You you can't just keep it in one place. Say, so I, I tend to move the paper and write yes. sideways. So to have to keep that on your machine straight, it's yeah. very... I suppose it's one of those things, it's a bit like patchwork and quilting. There are the supposed rules, which means that you should be able to stitch, like I said, north, south, east, west, with this piece of fabric exactly where you've placed it on your machine. So if I, if I do that, but like I said, a hoop, if you're not experienced, a hoop is a definitely your best friend. Maybe your piece, your square, needs to be bigger. Um, so it will go into a hoop nicely. Yeah. Um, so you see, I stitched the whole thing with the, with the pudding looking at me. Yeah. Um, and that's, ideally, you have to sometimes learn how to do that. Yeah. But there we are. So that's my custard. Super. <laughs> so the next thing is putting the holly bit, holly leaves on. So while you do that, I will change my thread to green. Um, with the berries, I'm literally going to do um, free motion. Uh, I mean, you can you can do, uh, like I said before, you can do French knots with embroidery thread. You said little pom poms, which I think is quite sweet. Um, I, I think the berries for this particular size are a little bit small. I mean, you could perhaps cut a few dots out of red felt um, and glue them on. I think, but but actually to do free motion on them is, in, I would say, almost impossible. There's no point. No. You might as well just. Um, That's gosh, why when I'm designing the patterns, I'm quite mindful of the small pieces. When I first started designing them, I was designing them as a. Yes. As a picture. Yes. You weren't thinking about stitching, were you? No. Um, we kind of had to learn. Actually, that's not going to work. Yeah. So. With the holly leaves in place, you can just press those down. And don't do like you do, Adrian. You're doing perfectly the right thing by just stabbing it. <laughs> you know, you're just, you know. And then once you know they're settled, you can run the iron over it. Okay. And, and in fact, you know, running the ironing over your stitches will bed those stitches in yeah. to your work. So that's, that's beautiful. So I'm going to switch the iron off now because I don't think we need it anymore. And Millie is sat right underneath it. So now I'm going to free motion the uh, okay. leaves. And again, it's just a case of following Ooh, the lines. Sequins. Sequins. Got any sequins? <gasps> no, not handy. I probably have somewhere buried. Um, so again, I'm just going to follow the leaves around. Now, these are quite small. So small stitches are good, which means you don't use, move your fabric very quickly. And um, you can do two rows of stitching on each leaf and then move on to the next leaf. So I could do two rows here, two rows, two rows, or I can do all three and then all three again. Yeah. But I'll just do the two. Try and keep that speed up, so keep that quite methodical. And because, because I love free motion, I'm going to do a, a centre stem, which is lovely. And then, can, now I want you to see, but I'm not going to move this fabric. Just making sure I'm, my shoulders are in the, in the way. Um, I'm just going to, I'm, mo I'm moving my fabric, but I'm not pivoting. Because I'm so used to doing this, I don't need to. But you might, Adrienne, because you're a newbie, you might want to stop, regroup, pivot, so it's more comfortable for you. And there's yeah. no rules, there's no rules here. So again, just follow the leaf around. I don't know how we can, well we can see this. Go into the points if you can. 
because like I said if you put this into the washing machine you'll probably lose those points if it's A not glued down properly and B not stitched you know because it'll just fray and fall apart so do that centre stem nice and easy nice and gentle we're not rushing no point rushing no and rushing in this house no rushing in this house as granddad would say so there's the leaves so now we need to change the thread and i'm going to do the three little berries in the red thread so let's just get that in the machine so how, how are we are we doing all right are we enjoying it anybody got any comments or questions that we need to answer um, they say perfect camera work <laughs> good camera woman <laughs> Smooth transition. Oh no, I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dee Dee's watching. Now, that yeah, Dee Dee be... said about the sequins. Oh, right, because it must be quite late at night in Australia. Um, I can oh, never wow. work out the time difference, but Dee Dee well, um... is uh, a wonderful supporter to all of us. Yeah, she's and she lives in Australia. That's not that's not shabby, is it? Um, Ethan, What's shabby? I said it's not shabby. Okay, well, Ethan, living in Australia. Yes. Oh, who's Ethan? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Ethan <laughs> used to work with us at Ochanda. He oh. was in the technical department. Yeah, he was lovely, lovely chap from Australia. He works now on Sunrise, which is Australia's <coughs> one of Australia's morning shows, and he's the Come cameraman for the weather man. Some um, I can't remember his name. It might be Sam. Anyway, he posts shots often of where they, because they travel around the country. It's unbelievable. Wow. And he was with Alf from Home and Away no. a couple of days ago. Yes. Today he's at some race course and his Instagram was showing a picture of this horse that was covered in 11,000 diamonds. Oh, for goodness A real sake. horse? Oh, no, not, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> let's, let's come in a little bit. <laughs> well, I, you know, living in Newmarket, anything's possible. <laughs> That's true. I had to wait for the horses this morning. <laughs> no, I, no, I said, I said you you were delayed yeah. somewhat because of the horses. Yes, twice. And I, I was shouting in the car, you're supposed to be gone by half past nine they have right of way in Newmarket. market it totally. doesn't and there's there's certain places where it's just like pedestrian i don't mean pedestrian streets that's not quite right but they're like back streets and the studs are behind that those houses and they come out of little passageways yeah, yeah. Horses. A horse after horse well after yeah horse. and you see one horse and you know that about two dozen are coming <laughs> and it's, just... it's always when you've got an appointment yeah. when you're going to be got to pick up the kids from but school but you don't mind though because they're so beautiful well yeah looking. they're mesmerizing and then there, there was they're one skissing. this morning that was like really he was like all over the place <laughs> I, I was thinking oh god don't hit my car but they are they're skitty and sometimes they go sideways across yeah, the yeah. road because they're so skitty and then some of them are so crazy that they then <laughs> have to be led across the road by yes. the owners <laughs> because they're so crazy <laughs> they are it's um, 9.08 in Tasmania, Australia. 9.08 p.m.? P.m. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not a bad time, actually, Dee Dee. That's Jenny. That's Jenny, that's Jenny. Oh, Jenny! Oh. Jenny on YouTube. Oh. So is Jenny in Australia? Yes. Oh. Um, Debbie says, oh, 9.06 on the Australian East Coast. And Sally says, it's 11.07 here in New Zealand. Oh, oh. 11.07 in New Zealand. I'd is like that p.m.? Be of course it is because it's Australia's oh, yeah. PM 12, 12 okay. hours difference isn't it because they celebrate New it's Year across the water it's not going to be AM is it right come on get on with your berries <laughs> get on with it love I, I, when you're online sometimes I shout the screen oh come go. on <laughs> oh lovely so look all I'm going to do now is little circles to make the berries nothing difficult um, maybe it's something you want to practice you know, I, I always say practice free motion anyway, whatever you're doing. So um, I'm just going to do a few stitches, then I'm going to cut the tail off. Some uh, glittery red thread would be nice. Yes. Well, yes. I mean, this is a nice sheen mm. to it, but yeah. So where am I going to put the berries, Adrian? Well, um, just do, if I just do circles. Yeah, the, on, over the ends of the points, really. Now, I want to also point something out here. That because um, I've got cream thread in my bobbin, there's a lot of cream thread coming through to the top. Uh -huh. If you had some ordinary red thread in your bobbin, then the berries would be a lot, lot redder and a lot, lot brighter. 
but because I've got the cream thread, a lot of that's coming through. You can loosen your tension off a little bit, and that will bring the colour up, but I just want to explain why it perhaps looks <clears throat> not as um, bright as it could be. So basically, that's it. That's all I've done. And it's cool. just going round and round in circles. Oh, Marjorie, it's five, ten past five in the morning. That's dedication, isn't it? Well, oh, this um, must be US. Jean, it's ten past four a.m. in Colorado, and Dee Dee says it's eight forty p.m. in Adelaide. Oh wow! wow. I'm not being funny, but very international, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> well, if maybe you're trying to get back to sleep and our voices are droning you back. I'm not sure we could get anyone Jean, to sleep. <laughs> Jean needs to go back to sleep. Jean, come on. Oh, yeah. Go back to sleep. Good time got us... What does that say? Ja Jan says, hi, Adelaide. Good time got us rather than 3 a.m. Oh, well, yes, because if we do a oh, Facebook later. Live later... It can be. Anyway, look, there's, Come on. there's our thing. So now we need to make the whole thing. So um, what, you, what you need to do now, Adrienne, is take the pattern piece and I would use your heat erasable pen, which Abigail had a moment ago, and draw around. Draw Sorry, around. That was a little aggressive. Keep moving because that's the middle of the shot. Oh, right. You could pin this oh. and cut round. But, but you're... Uh, um, it's crazy because um, now you don't know if that's going to be in the middle or not. You've got to guess. Okay, so the other thing you can do is... Fold. Cut this out, yes. Cut this out, obviously, beforehand. Yeah. So you know exactly. Yeah. Or just fold this into quarters. I know this is a bit random, but... You can see that that's going to fit there. That's going to fit there. Just move that down a little bit. So if I flip this over, I know that is you pretty, can also pretty central. You fold this and line up the two centre points. Ah, yeah. Yes. If yeah. you wanted it Good idea. totally central. So, of course, you can pin this and then cut round. Or a little bit of um, just rough sketch around the circle and then you can just cut it out. Oh, you've got a bruise there. Yeah. I need one of these pens. Can you put it in my pile, please? In fact, I'll tell you what we will do. We'll do the back first before we cut. Um, yes, that's what we'll do. I can't remember what I did one. in the pattern now. Yeah, any colour. Let me there. just check the pattern. There's a red one. I'll put it in your pocket. What else can I have <laughs> while I'm here? <laughs> oh, I need... Uh, what was it? Oh, heat and bond. I wish you'd have said, because I've got so much bond web. I could have brought that with me. Oh, and I meant to bring William's advent calendar with me. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to do, Adrienne, right. we're going to cut that out in a, in a little while. We're going to do the backs. So you've got your backs here. Yeah. If you could, in fact, let's get the iron. And I want you to fold over just a quarter of an inch on two of the long sides. So move that out of the way. <clears throat> get your heat, uh, Yeah. You're matting. Yeah, you've done a good job. It needs to go down. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll sort it out for you. I mean, I've got no. <laughs> just, just iron that line away. I'll try. We, we decided it wasn't very good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you. They are good fun, but you have to. You really must test your fabric out before you use a heat erasable yeah. pen. On batik, they are lethal. Oh. On batik, they always leave um, a ghost mark. Always. So you must test your fabric out. And with also, heat erasable. If you press too hard, you can obviously ruin the integrity of your fabric. So you are essentially marking your fabric with the end of a pen. Oh, so you yes. can press too hard. Right. So yes. you must always be gentle. Yeah. Uh, right, what we're doing with these? So on, just get them so they're right side. So there's the right side and there's the right. Only because the robins are all going. Oh, yeah. So this is right side showing. Yeah. Let's just flip them over. And on these two long edges here, just turn over a quarter of an inch-ish. I don't want you to measure it. Like this? Yep, and iron it down. I'm just changing my foot on my machine to a regular foot. <clears throat> on both? There you yeah. go. Right, okay. Sorry, <laughs> thanks. Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. That's it. There we go. So, are there any questions? Um, 
uh, Jill says, typical kids, can I have this, can I have that? <laughs> well, yes. I mean, they, Jill, you've no idea. <clears throat> they raid my covers before they leave. Right, one's bigger than the other. Doesn't matter. All right. Doesn't matter. Now, you need to overlap these. I think it's one and... Um, well, no, we've got to stitch these first, but let's just get the measurements. Sorry, I'm going to kind of bit ahead in the cell. Um, where's my pattern? Ah, give it. Yeah, one point. Right. Let's let's swap over. You can do this. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Mind the camera. Mind the camera. Mind the camera, guys. So it's all set up for regular stitch now. Mind your arm on that, Abby. Um, so what you're going to do, Adrienne, is that you're going to top stitch down both of these sides. Do it on the right side because then you can see how neat you are. Right. Okay, so both of those are going to be top stitched. Right. How how far? Like well, eighth of an inch. Okay. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Obviously, if you've turned over a quarter of an inch, you don't want to go any. <clears throat> yes. Does your um, do I you would have to hold your threads? I would always put my thread underneath my presser foot. But then I'm like old that? school. Yeah, I'm old school. And most modern machines can cope with anything. Are we doing a back stitch? No. Okay. Oh, God. I'll just cut the threads again. No, you haven't. You just put the needle down. <laughs> so just move that hand a little bit. That's it. So we're just top stitching down both sides. So what you're aiming to do is to catch your fabric underneath. So use your heel to break your thread. That's it. So let's just check. Yeah, you've just about caught it. That's mm, fine. Only just. Only just. Because <laughs> that is a quarter inch foot. Yes. Keep your hands very, very away from that needle while you've got it, your foot on the presser foot. That's off. Good. Safety. Yep. <clears throat> so, top stitch again. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Lovely. Nice fabric. Isn't it pretty? Mm. Cozy cabin. Of course. Super. So now what we need to do is to, we need to overlap these by one and, a, one and three quarter inches. Okay. So um, let's find a ruler. Oh gosh. Let's find a ruler. Oh, sorry. I've moved the camera. Oh no, you're We're not right. on that camera. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Get them so your right sides are facing up and then you just want to overlap them by one and one and uh, three quarter inches. This is a horrible ruler. Though. I was just about to say oh, it really is. that is a horrible ruler. It is. Let's it's find far one. too busy. Oh, it is. And I've... Heart I... No. Yeah. That's, get that Giant. crafter's green one. That's better. That's better. Um, there's definite... Ru these, I like these sort of rulers where you've got lots of space. Yes. So actually this is probably about right, look. So if yeah. we look at it like that, <clears throat> this is our one and three quarters. Yeah. And we, we're about like that the same, up the top there. One and three quarters, sorry for the flashing lights. So um, just pop a pin in, just to hold those two layers together. Oh, okay. Sorry, we've got our mouse. Like acupuncture pins. They're really super. And put it so, so, <laughs> so it's like that. <laughs> so you're using two because what you're doing is you're holding this one down and you're holding the one underneath oh, down. Gotcha. But do you want to do the other end? Well, you do it, otherwise I'm going to get in the way of the camera. <laughs> or just get told off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we know that our robins are that way up. You agree? Yeah. So when we put our pudding on top... It wants to be right way up. Ah, uh, I getcha. Yeah, so when we turn it through, it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so so what we can do is, uh, now in this is slightly different to the pattern, because in the pattern I had already cut my circle out. Yeah. Okay, so this is slightly different, but you end up with exactly the same results. So you mustn't worry. 
So we've secured our back pieces, we've secured our pudding on top, so we know right sides together, those are all good, yeah? yeah? So now what we need to do is, A, you either draw around this again or pin it and cut. So if I was to draw around, and I'm literally doing this, right you might want to do more um, drawing so now you can pop this under the machine and just stitch around that circle so if I take that away you can see you've got quite a clear circle there yeah. you don't need to draw in the join the dots no. but I want you to pop that under the machine and I want you to stitch around that circle the whole circle the whole thing the whole darn thing. The whole circle? Yeah, because we've got an envelope back. Oh, yeah. Of course we have. Yeah. Alrighty -o. Well done, ads. Hmm. Okay. You are right with all the wires and everything? Yeah. So just, I know for you as a beginner, you might want to put in more lines, you know, to draw up the, the you see where we've just got the dashes here. You, as a beginner, perhaps, would you want to do more um, lines? Yeah, I don't know, actually. Not necessarily, because uh, you can just jump from one to another. Yeah. So this, this will actually end up a little bit bigger because we're stitching on the drawn line. We're not stitching a quarter of an inch in. Right. So there's a couple of different ways. I've kind of gone off the pattern a little bit. This is all okay. bunching. Oh, well, we just, yeah, just keep it. Pin, the pins should be keeping everything flat. That's it. And when you're stitching, I mean, we're stitching multiple layers, so a stitch length of two and a half to three is fine. But if you were stitching, um, not using wadding, a small stitch with a circle is excellent. So this mat will be slightly bigger than the original one because we are stitching on the drawn line. Right. If you'd cut this out, we would be stitching oh, a quarter of an inch yes, in. Yes, yeah? yes, yeah. I but it's just know. another way of doing it, that's all. Just make sure you're consistent. Okay. Yeah. Good. Back stitch? No. Oh. Just go over the stitches that you've already done, yeah. just so secure. Yeah. And, um, oh, that's it, the thread's super. So take all your pins out, if I bring it back over here, take all your pins out and Abigail if you could pass the pink pinking shears. Sure. Is that the dustbin there? That is. Thank you. Welcome. Is that, we oh. can switch it on. It's up, it's still hot though. Okay, so hopefully they're all out. Oh. So now use your pink and cheers to cut that out and it's just a nice neat finish. How close? Um, just bring that slightly over here, love. Yeah. Uh, um, about a quarter of an inch, but you know, don't measure it for okay. goodness sake. Yep. Oh, these are sharp. Mm. So just remember that we have stitched on the drawn line. If you had drawn this and then cut out, then your mat will be this size. This is going to be just a slightly bigger. Yeah? Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Understand? Yeah. Excellent. Have we got any questions? Um, Morning from Sydney. Claudia. Is you it Claudia or Claudie? Where can you get heat erasable oh. pens from? Jackie's meeting's just finished. Oh, Hello, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Heat erasable pens. Oh, my goodness me. Um, you probably get them in your local supermarket. They're called friction pens. Um, and I'm pretty sure even Sainsbury's sell friction pens. Um, Amazon, of course, um, our, our friend Amazon um, will have them. But they're called friction pens. Obviously, I'm using the brand that I um, used to work for. No, that's a friction pen. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's a friction pen. That's what they look like. And you, I, I think I'm pretty sure I got these from my local Sainsbury's. Ah, yeah. I because they're not meant... They're not, they weren't designed ever for fabric. Oh. They weren't meant for fabric. It's just somebody discovered that they worked. Oh. Did you want to turn that through? Yeah. So because we've got the envelope back, if you just bring it over a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there you are. 
So it needs a press because you can still see your blue line. Oh, now, look, yeah. that's interesting because we're not far off that. Yeah. Pokey tool, quite like magic. That's it. Push it and then just rub it against the side. Oh, yeah. There you are, I see. It's funny, it's, it's one of those things that we do naturally and we don't, we forget about beginners. That's beautiful, Adrienne. Not bad. Needs a good press, like everything else I always say, give it a good press. But apart from that, that is absolutely beautiful. And you'll see it's slightly bigger than the original one because we stitched on the drawn line. Yeah. Okay. This was stitched, we cut it and then we stitched, so we lose a quarter of an inch. Yeah. yeah. Even so, it doesn't matter really, does it? Which you do. <coughs> so there we are, that's it. Fabulous. Come in a little bit, Abigail. Everybody can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Blinking kid, get in, she's on wheels. Right. Now you see, Adrian should be in the middle because she's white, we're red. Oh, I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're ready you think you're ready you think so I've got the mouse <laughs> so there we are Lisa, a good press so well done yay fabulous pattern great bit of stitching that you did yeah you know not bad and you put it together and you are a beginner how many times have you done free motion that was the second time <laughs> so for all those ladies that say to me I can't do it Think of Adrienne, she's had to learn to do it because her job, a part-time job, is to make an applique. And both Abigail and I kept saying to her, you actually need to learn how to stitch your own stuff. And then you get to know what works, yeah, don't you? Yeah, it was very true. <laughs> but your angel this morning was super. Have you put the link on there? Yes, 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 some time ago. <laughs> oh, I'm right in the shot there. Yes, good. <laughs> I constantly got a frown face like this. Runs in the family, love. Right, so there we are. So that is MIM 46. We've obviously um, caught up oh, now. Oh, it is. I did wonder why we were doing this. Yeah, this is MIM 46. This is the one we should have done when Facebook went down. And uh, so now Love we've it. caught up on ourselves. And this will be available as a video on the website where it says video tutorials and then it says MIM tutorials. I think it says MIM tutorials, not oh, MIM lovely. videos. Anyway, it'll be there in the next sort of 10 minutes. Um, and of course, it'll always be on Facebook um, on my Lizzie Curtis page and I'll copy it over to the Making It Monday group so um, they can see us all having a little bit of fun this morning. I was here in spirit. You I'm are. going to eat my cake now. Yes, here we are, Adrian. Have your cake. <laughs> I've got a cold cup of tea. Pass me my cold cup oh, yeah. of coffee. Oh, I'm joyful. Yeah, but because of my surgery. Oh, oh know, yeah. Because of my surgery, I have to have everything cold. <laughs> How dull. <laughs> There's at my Christmas. At least you can eat cake cold. Actually, it, 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 it is suckable. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, we have gone on. Uh, well, actually, it's just the hour, so we've done very well considering. Mm. I hope you make um, MIM 46, which is the Christmas pudding mat. I'd love to see some more on the Making Ooh. It Monday Look Facebook page. Millie, that's an iron. <laughs> <laughs> and because she can smell the cake. Oh. Um, and we'll speak to you all again soon. So Abigail just needs to press the... Uh, actually, put the picture up where it says Project 29. Can you see? Oh, on the I'm looking. Down, down here. Project 29. Oh. Let's click that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Transition that in a sec. Oh, yeah. And then we end stream. Where's end stream? Oh, over there. Okay. okay. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Follow Bye. me. See you so soon. Abigail for more <laughs> interesting lives. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't forget. Oh, hold on. Yes. Zippy Doodle Designs and avid crafts and sew with Abigail. Get sewing with Abigail. Get sewing with Abigail. <laughs> zippydoodledesigns.com Sort it. What's your Facebook? Zippy Doodle Designs. Zippy Doodle Applique. There we are. What's your actual answer? <laughs> Two answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, give us a clue. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, no. Yes. yes, could be that, could might not be. Right. Right. We'll Cheerio. see you all again soon. Bye. Bye everybody.